chapter 3, verses, ver, uh, Mishnah 14. While Malchus are given, one of the judges in the court reads a number of verses. The reader reads the following verses, Deuteronomy 28, 58, and 59. If you will not be careful to do all the words of this Torah which are written in this book, to fear this honored and awesome name, Hashem your God, then Hashem will make your blows and the blows of your children extraordinarily... No, extraordinary great and steady blows and evil and steady sickness. He then goes back to the beginning of the first verse and reads them again. He then reads the verse 29.8 there. You must keep the words of this covenant so that you will succeed in all that you do. And he concludes with the verse Psalm 78.38. And he, the merciful one, forgives sin and does not destroy. He frequently holds back his anger and does not arouse all his fury. If he finishes reading these verses before the Malchus are finished, he goes back to the beginning of the first verse and reads them again. We have learned in Mishnah 2, 1, that when a person kills someone inadvertently, he must go into exile. The Mishnah discusses whether the court attendant must go into exile if he inadvertently kills the sinner while giving Malchus. If the one receiving Malchus died by the hand of the court attendant as a result of the Malchus, the court attendant is exempt from exile even though he killed the person inadvertently. He did so while performing the mitzvah of giving malchus. And when a person kills him inadvertently while doing a mitzvah, he does not go into exile. However, if the attendant inadvertently added one more lash than he was supposed to, and the sinner died as a result, the attendant goes into exile for killing him, since he was not supposed to hit him an extra time. He was not performing a mitzvah with that blow, and thus he is not exempt from exile. Another law. If, while receiving Malchus, the sinner lost control of his bodily functions and soiled himself, whether he soiled himself with waste or with urine, he is exempt from the rest of the lashes. The fact that he has been disgraced in this manner through the Malchus exempts him from the rest of the punishment. But Rabbi Yehuda says, a man is exempt from the rest of the lashes only if he soils himself with waste. But a woman is exempt even if she soils herself with urine. Since a woman is more sensitive to shame, this lesser shame is enough to exempt her from the rest of the lashes.